The Sydney Metro Martin Place project is the jewel in the crown of the city and southwest wider metro project which includes 16 kilometres of underground tunnel and seven underground stations. As Sydney's first integrated station development, we've combined world-leading commercial towers. We've reopened Martin Place with a vibrant retail offering with porous entrances to allow the public to easily come down into the metro station and enjoy an integrated low-carbon transport system. We collaborated with Macquarie Group as the overall developer for the project and as supported by Grimshaw, Zahns and JPW and with Lendlease as the DNC contractor. Some of the challenges in our design work for, for the precinct are literally working on a brownfield site, which came with existing heritage building, existing train lines. Envelope that was very limited. Outside is, is uh, bustling and busy. We were conscious about how we would make the station experience more of a calmer, um, intuitive experience. The fully integrated station and towers uh, was the first time this model had been used in, in one of the stations in Sydney. Not only the this, this structure um, is fully integrated from the station through to the towers, but also the key and core engineering services uh, and disciplines to make sure that all of it could work holistically. So it's really inviting you to go into that precinct, even if you're not just catching the train, as an experience um, to just wander around to enjoy. We have combined entrances and lots of open spaces that open to the public and creates lots of links through Martin Place and, and the city, so it improves the user experience. Multiple light sources create a calm atmosphere that reveal the, the really grand proportions of the station. Underneath this precinct, there's um, a number of existing rail tunnels. That was uh, one of the challenges that we needed to construct around in order to include the new complex of metro tunnels. We needed to come up with a scheme where we transferred the building column loads through to large piled foundations. These were constructed uh, from a platform approximately two and a half to three meters above the live running tunnel. They were sleeved for a large portion of their length in order to avoid any load transfer onto the tunnels uh, during their operation. What's special about the pedestrian tunnel is that it's located immediately below 50 Martin Place, which is a heritage-listed item of exceptional significance. The steel sets, which we designed in order to take the column loads for, from 50 Martin Place, were installed once. They served as a temporary support and also permanent support. This project is going to have an enormous impact on Sydney. The metro has been a game changer for how people can move around and will continue to do so for well over 100 years using low carbon infrastructure. The thing that I remember the most is the amount of collaboration across the number of disciplines that it really took to push boundaries to create the um, environment and the end result. From everyone who's been in Metro Martin Place is so positive, they just love it. It's a really good uh, example of how good design can create positive changes for transport and infrastructure. We hope it's a, it's a catalyst for future development and certainly, um, certainly encourages people to be using public transport.